Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with my second Infinity perfection Slayer. video on how to get perfection in Halo 4. For those of you who don't know, perfection is 15 kills or more in a Slayer game type without dying. It has to be Slayer, cannot be anything else. This is not a medal that is awarded, this is simply a commendation that builds up that will eventually give you experience points. Eliminate the enemy team. Get enough perfections. So this is my second or third perfection, Halo 4. My teammate Rick grabs the sticky debt. Um, I am with uh, almost a full team. So you're going to see some teamwork as I hold certain areas of the map. I'm going to charge through center, make this little nifty jump to sticky debt. I do see a guy on a turret, so I try to kill him, but he's not going to be a real threat. He moves so slow with the turret anyway. Now, this is critical. I plasma the pistol the Wraith, then hurl two grenades at it. Most other people, when they plasma the pistol the Wraith, would have instantly sprinted for the Wraith, gotten onto it, and then hijacked it. That's not what you need to do when you have a sticky debt and two plasmas, which is what I'm loading out with. I'm loading out with ammo, camo, and AA efficiency. Immediately I charge back and charge straight into this tunnel. So many people don't know about this tunnel. It's unbelievable. And you're gonna see a lot of this tunnel. So hopefully this will be very helpful to you. Peek out, grab that one shot, finish that my teammate called out. Again, I back up because I know that guy got me one shot. It takes a little bit for this guy to finally find at the entrance. But when he finally does, he doesn't see me and I'm able to instantly explode him. The sticky dead is a one-shot kill when you exploit it directly under their feet or if you stick them with it. I would recommend firing it at their feet. It's almost as powerful as a rocket launcher blast. It just doesn't have the radius of a rocket launcher blast. Like you can see there, I didn't kill myself with that, but I did weaken my shields. Now here, I see the enemy warthog on my radar. It flips over. I kill one guy, my teammate cleans up the other kill. My camo is regenerating in the background. I now have full camo. I'm almost about to get my ordinance. I make this again, this nifty jump back in the center to make sure my teammates are okay over here. I get a really good sticky debt on that guy for the killing spree. I call out another sticky debt. Now please realize the only way you're able to hold five sticky debt bullets is with the ammo perk. That's what I use, the ammo perk plus AA efficiency which recharges my armor ability faster. Camo, as I'm using right now, you can see. And very, very useful. Because I'm able to hold five sticky death shots. My teammate bolt shots him to death. Again, I make the jump back. I miss it, but I get on this little ledge, and then I pop back up for the second jump. I see an enemy warthog coming, so I gotta be really careful here. Really good sticky death call on my part. So you actually sticky death the ground under that ghost. If a ghost is weak, go ahead and sticky death it. If a warthog is weak, sticky death where it's going to be, and boom, get the double kill just like that. It's already weak. Now notice right there, John, just amazing snipe by him. What? How? Did, I saw that ghost on my radar. Okay, why did I not bother with it after I got this kill right here? Watch my radar real carefully. Notice the red ghost, Gain the lead. and notice how the red ghost goes blue as John snipes the red, snipes him. You can see the bullet trail off the side there, snipes him out of the ghost. Incredible shot. I weaken that ghost for my teammates, and then blow it up with the second shot. Again, extremely good use of the sticky debt and plus camo. I see some enemy players. I'm going to try to help out my team. I drop down because I see two of them. I weaken that player. I'm watching carefully to make sure they don't drop. Then I charge back into, me, into my little hidey hole. Oftentimes, there's not too much action over here on this little tunnel. But I'm just using it to stay undercover and I'll provide my teammates with support. Another reason why I'm holding this position is so that I can watch for the Wraith, which typically spawns right here. So I can call that out to my teammate so they can actually come get it. I'm, while I'm over here, I'm also preventing the enemy team from spawning over here. So as you can see, most of my teammates are going to be clustered around the middle, and I'll point that out later on. So I pick up the 
part in laser because uh, no more sticky that obviously. And I'm gonna try to laser some enemy vehicles. My teammate is sniping, so I'm like, okay, I don't want to get in his way. So I hop up on this little rock. And I start trying to provide support fire across the map. I don't end up getting that guy. I immediately drop when I get one shot. This is critical. Drop before you go to no shields. Don't drop after. It's a really bad idea, especially if you're trying to get a perfection. Now here I'm not trying to get a perfection. I don't even know that I'm going to get a perfection at this moment. I'm not trying to go for the perfection. This happens to be the position I'm holding and the loadout I'm using. Get a very nice five shot on this guy. Again, the needler is never used. I don't know why people... It's, it's useful in some situations. Now this is just handy. If you're going to drop a power weapon for another power weapon, call the power weapon you just dropped out, dropped out to your teammates, and this is exactly what I do. I see the enemy ghost, I'm trying to get it weak, but it doesn't work. Michael has the damage boost and ends up cleaning it up. Very good, Michael. Um, I see that guy one shot across the map, finish him up with a headshot. Um, I'm going to leave that uh, Spartan laser over there for my teammates to pick up. I charge back over here. I think my teammates might need some help. I know Michael has that side covered for now. I charge back over because I see the enemy, the wraith that just spawned over here behind this rock. So I'm immediately calling that out to my teammates. Hey guys, there's a wraith. You know, wraith spawned where I am. You know, where GENR is. That's my tag. Notice how everyone has little tags. I can just call out my tag to them. I'm GENR and I'm over here. And they hit this wraith. So it takes a while for my teammates to finally come over here. Meanwhile, just pulling this position, making sure enemy players don't spawn and grab the wraith, which is the main point. There my teammates come, and there they're going to go ahead and get in the wraith. So I'm watching up here on this rock. I see some enemy players over there. That guy has an incineration cannon. I get him one shot. Embarrassingly enough, I fall off this rock twice while I'm trying to shoot at people, probably preventing me from getting the kill again on the incineration cannon opponent. I fall off the rock twice. That's probably one of the few times I'd actually choke in this film. Provide some support fire. Notice I'm just putting shots at the people. I'm not necessarily shooting the kill. I get so focused on shooting at the DMR that I completely don't see this guy behind me. I, I quickly check my radar, and I am so glad I did because there's a guy directly behind me right here. And I end up sticky dead at him. You need to know the distance you can sticky that someone without killing yourself. Okay? It's extremely important. Notice how there's three guys on top of me. They all, because I, as soon as I vacated that top position, they spawned over there right on top of me. So I'm being very careful. I'm noticing that's not just me. There's an enemy player above me using camo. So I'm trying to, sh con to confuse him and not let him know where I am. If he sees the red dot, he will know whether I'm below him or above him. If he doesn't see the red dot and only sees the blue dots, he won't know where I am. Notice how he's completely confused, just running around outside there. Several enemy players using camo, so I'm just sitting here below them, confusing them with my camo. The ghost tries to shoot me. I get it a little weak, but that is that I don't end up being able to clean that up. I push back through the tunnel. Again, not appearing on my radar by crouching. When you crouch, you don't appear on enemy radar. Catch this guy with his pants down, giving the nice five shot there. Again, there's another ghost. I'm gonna be, or, uh, oh, mongoose. Wow, not a ghost. And I make sure I don't die here. Be very careful. My teammates are readily responding to my callouts as they take down these vehicles one after another. Again, I sticky death the ghost again, um, and I end up teammates end up actually cleaning up that ghost eventually. I'm gonna pop back through this tunnel, make sure, you know, my dwelling is, you know, all in order and, you know, my possessions are all, you know, in a row. I get some shots here. So, some, yeah, some enemy players spawned here, so I gotta be really careful now because I, I was trying to hold this position, but I, by popping back into that tunnel and checking out my possessions, uh, enemy players spawned over there, which is not a good move on my part. Um, he's using camo, but again, using an HD TV, you can tell where they are. And I immediately can tell where this guy is. I stick it at his position and kill him immediately. There's a mild, mild shimmer where they are. If you're not playing HD television, I would highly recommend it. It makes a world of difference. I repeat that again. Playing on an HD television makes a world of difference. 
also having a surround sound headset work, works very well too. I don't know where that guy's going, but I'm uh, trying to hold him there. Um, he ends up, I believe, quitting, as you can see on the left-hand side there. I don't end up cleaning that kill. Five assists, that's what a wingman is. I'm just assisting my team. Um, I see another Spartan Laser there, but I'm going to actually let my team get that. I call that out to my team as well. Again, holding the position, trying to not allow the enemy team to spawn over here. If you look on my on my HUD, notice how all my teammates are controlling the center of the map in that building. That's because the enemy players are spawning over here in their building. Okay, notice how they're all over here and just basically getting demolished. That's basically what you want to do on Vortex. Have one guy hold your back end, and the rest of you hold the center while maybe a few others run around in some vehicles. That's what you want to do on Vortex, typically. And then I just happen to be the guy holding the backward position. I'm going to rotate around and let my, one of my teammates, as I call out to him that I'm vacating that position, I'm going to rotate, and rotate around to the right. Now, notice the vehicles are not being used, because there's really no point. If the enemy teammates got into them, we're destroying the crap out of every single vehicle they've thrown at us so far. That's why they're sitting here on you. There's no point, because we're all sitting top middle in the building. They're not going to kill us. Now, unfortunately, my teammate does not do a good job of holding that back in position. And the, as you can see, they've rotated their spawn. Notice how there's no one here. I'm going to actually go through their, this base because I'm very wary. No one is here. So the enemy team has rotated their spawn to the other side of the map. They're now, now spawning on the opposite end where I was, um, near those rocks over there where the wraith spawns. So I'm just checking to make sure no one's over here. And I immediately see three players. Now when I do this, I'm being very careful, making sure they don't know where I am. I'm calling out their positions to my team, and he tries to help me out. This guy does not see me. I get the 15 kill running riot right there. Um, I'm being very careful. Notice how I don't immediately sticky death that dude. Very good call on my part. Very good sticky death play. Because that guy just noticed his teammate die, so he has no idea where I am. He's like, holy crud, where is this dude? He runs straight forward, and boom, gets exploded by my sticky death. That guy was probably a little weak, actually, because I sticky to him from a while away. I get shot by this guy, I immediate, immediately run back, because you do not want to lose the perfection at this point. And once again, camping out for the end of the perfection is not a really good idea. Um, it's not very conducive um, to a film. I do not upload films where I actually camped out for the last five minutes or so for the perfection. I'm just rotating around the map, trying to find people and pick them off, um, one at a time. Um, this is actually quite humorous, what happens to me here. I see the enemy raid, so I quickly duck behind a rock, because I'm freaked out. You know, I don't want to lose the perfection. So I camo, peek out around the corner, and then see his backside over there. I shoot him, and holy crud, he turns towards me. And that's when I start to really, really think that I just made a very bad mistake. He doesn't know where I am. But he definitely knows I'm over here somewhere. Watch my radar as he carefully moves around the rocks and tries to find where I am. Notice I'm crouching. He does not see where I red am. He knows generally my position, but people only have so long of an attention span. He's not going to stay over here forever. He'll eventually move on. But you have to not present him with a red dot on your ra his radar. Otherwise, he will keep staying there and shooting you. A very good position of playing passive and... It works out for me. I give this guy an extremely good five shot as he has no idea where, where that came from. Um, notice there's only two kills remaining in the game. And I, of course, camo across the map trying to not die at all. And that's the end of the game. Um, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you can um, gain some knowledge and tips from it, not only on how to play Vortex, but on how to get perfections, use those little tunnels, uh, camo and ammo and the sticky dead and all that. If you like this video, um, subscribe or like the video. I'll um, put the links up here on the screen right now. Um, and thanks for watching. Peace.